Hey y'all, we're going to make a hunter's casserole today. So, I want to let everybody know if you're having trouble seeing the video, go ahead and tap that video, lightly tap it again. Down in the bottom right hand corner, you'll see two arrows pointing in different directions. If you click on that, it'll make your screen larger. Then the comments will appear down in the left hand corner where it says comments, there'll be like a little arrow. If you click that once or twice, it'll take those comments away so you're able to see the whole video. So what I have over here is I have two pounds of potatoes that I have peeled and put some water in. I'm trying to bring them to a boil until they're fork tender as you're like making mashed potatoes because you're going to need them for this casserole. You're also going to need two pounds of venison. If you do not have venison, you can use ground beef. That's fine. So we're going to go ahead and put our two pounds of venison in our pan. All right, y'all, you want to put a little bit of olive oil, about a tablespoon, in with your venison because it doesn't have much fat in that. Okay, so the next thing you're going to need is one onion chopped, and we're going to put it in there with our ground beef. And we're going to turn our heat on. We're going to cook this up until the meat's no longer pink and our onions are softened. Alright y'all, so if you don't have dry bell peppers, because I'm going to put bell peppers in here. If you don't have dry bell peppers, just use one bell pepper cut up and you want to put it in here as well so it gets all softened with your onions. But I'm going to saute this up a little bit and then add my dry bell peppers. So again, if you're using the fresh, make sure you put it in here to soften it up with your onions and your venison. Now, if you're using regular ground beef, just make sure that you either pick a leaner ground beef or you're going to have to strain some of that grease out of there because I won't have much grease at all in this. Alright, as this is slowly starting to brown, we're going to go ahead and add in two tablespoons of dry bell peppers and I, I dehydrate mine and I also buy them off of Amazon. So if you don't have that, again, one bell pepper. And then we're going to need some Worcestershire sauce. You're going to want one tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce in here. Okay. Alright, so now we're going to need one teaspoon of smoked paprika. We're going to need a half a teaspoon of onion powder, a half a teaspoon of garlic powder, then we're going to need some pepper and you're going to put a quarter teaspoon of black pepper, and then we're going to put one and a half teaspoons of salt. Stir this around. You're going to need one tablespoon of minced garlic and a four ounce can of chilies, green chilies. Right, so you just want to make sure you don't drain your chilies. You want all the liquid in there. So once that's all taken care of, we're going to head, turn the heat off and we're going to put this to the side and we're going to make a regatta and cottage cheese mixture and then we'll whip these potatoes up once they get done. Alright y'all, so now you need a 16 ounce of cottage cheese, which I have in my bowl, and then you need a 15 ounce of regatta cheese and you're going to put that in here. And you're going to need two eggs that are beaten. The rest of this out. Now, tomorrow is the giveaway for that knife giveaway, so Valentine's Day will be the day that I pick the winner for that. So make sure today you get in there and get your entry in for that. And we're going to put our two eggs in here. And we're going to stir this together. Okay. 
right. And you're going to need a 9 by 13 baking dish. And we're going to be cooking this on 350 degrees for about 35 minutes. All right, so while we're waiting for our potatoes to get done, I want to let everybody know we do still have cookbooks available for purchase. I'll put a link above and below in the comments for those of you who want to purchase those. We are down to the last few, so we won't have them much longer. And our volume two probably won't be out until the first week of April. So go ahead and get yourself a copy if you want the first one. All right, y'all, so now I drained the potatoes. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put one stick of butter in there. We're gonna put a quarter cup of milk. And you can use um, half and half or you can use evaporated milk. They all work really good. And we need a quarter a cup of sour cream. So let me fork out about a quarter a cup of that. And then you're going to need some salt and pepper. And you want to put a little salt in there, a little bit of pepper. And a little bit of garlic powder. Okay. And you want to mush that all up until you get yourself some mashed potatoes. And this is a potato masher. You can use a hand mixer or whatever you want to do. y'all so here's my mashed potatoes we are going to spray a 9 by 13 baking dish and we're going to put our mashed potatoes in the bottom of our baking dish all right y'all so i got my mashed potatoes in the bottom now we're going to take our meat mixture and we're going to dump it on top of our mashed potatoes okay and we're going to Spread that around. Okay. Now we're going to take our regatta and cottage cheese mixture and we're going to pour this over the top and spread that all around. across your meat. Now you want to take some cheddar cheese and layer it across the top. Let me get my other bag. So about three to three cups of cheese on the top. So we're going to go ahead and pop this in a 350 degree oven for about 35 minutes. So I'll see you back here then. All right, y'all, it's all done. It's been in there for 35 minutes. So I'm just gonna go ahead and it's still piping hot. And I'm gonna just scoop out a little bit and show you what it looks like. All right, the mashed potatoes are at the bottom, so you got yourself a full meal. So I hope everybody gives this a try. Let us know how you like it. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out.